Cubase 11 brings a huge improvement to the key editor's functionality. You can now create ramps and curves in the CC and pitch bend lanes just like you're used to with automation. Set your pitch bend steps to semitones and you will always be perfectly in tune. All of your CC edits can also be conveniently copied to another MIDI track, while MIDI notes can now be deleted with a simple, fast double click. If you've ever wanted to draw CC MIDI controllers inside the key editor as ramps or curves, now Cubase 11 has you covered. Let me show you. Let's take this synth pad here. And let's say I want to draw some CC automation for my filter, okay? As you can see, now I can create curves, I can create ramps, and it works exactly the same way like with automation in Cubase. So maybe I want to go like this, I can change the curve exactly how I want it. And of course, I can copy that across into the same channel, or I can copy the automation to a completely different MIDI part. So I can hit copy, and then I have different options for pasting it. I can paste it exactly on the cursor, like this, or I can press Option or Alt V, and this will paste it in origin, which means in the original position, which is great because now I can have my CC controllers copied in exactly the same place for every channel without having to place the cursor manually. Now there's one specific controller that is extremely important if you're producing electronic music or if you're working with synths a lot, and that's the pitch bend. Now the pitch bend controllers can be really tricky to edit, but with Cubase 11, this is super simple. Let me show you. Let me record a synth bass line with Retrolog. Okay, so let's see what pitch bend information I just recorded. As you can see, this is my pitch bend information. This is really, really hard to edit. I have no idea how high I am right here, what kind of note I'm hitting, or what kind of note I'm hitting here, for example. And if you ever wanted to edit this, you would always have to go by ear. Well, not anymore. Now what we can do is we can turn on snap pitch bend events. And as you can see, now I have a full range of 12 semitones that I can edit. So I can see exactly what notes I hit for each pitch bend event. When I click on this cogwheel icon, I can set up my grid. I can show the semitones, as you can see. I can also set up my pitch bend range because for some synths, you might have the up range to be just two semitones and the down range to be 12 semitones, and you can also link them. So if you link them, you get exactly the same range for up and down pitch bends. And now let's say, for example, that I want to edit this note right here. So maybe in reality, I wanted to hit an F here. This is an E flat. So this would be just two semitones. So let's get rid of these events and let's try and edit this note, okay? So I'm going to click right here and let's create a nice ramp for my pitch bend like this. And maybe I want to add another point there. And now I can snap it to two semitones. There we go, as you can see, two semitones right here. Same with this one, this is not what I wanted. Maybe I want to have an upwards pitch bend of three semitones here. So let's try and add this, okay. And let's try and create a different curve for this pitch bend, let's see. And let's listen to it. So now you can take full control of your pitch bend events and you can guarantee that you're always going to hit the right note without being a little bit too sharp or a little bit too flat. Enjoy!